boy! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So, I just watched the first episode of series 11 of Doctor Who, and oh goodness, wow, there's a lot to unpack here. Jodie's first episode, the 13th Doctor's first episode. What can I say about it? These are my first impressions right now, so these opinions might change later. I, I don't know, but right now, over my Julian High, this is going to be a very interesting season. Now, I'm... Ah, uh, I don't know. There's a lot of things to unpack here with this first episode. Like, we got an introduction to the companions, Ryan, Yasmin, and Graham, and also um, Grace, who was um, Graham's partner, and... Um, and... Ah, sorry, I'm just trying to catch up with my thoughts. Ryan's aunt and oh man oh man oh man if you see the episode you know what happens to Grace I should have said spoilers but this is just my first reaction so I'm just like ah um but yeah I thought they were, they were good for a starting point um we know that Ryan has some coordination issues he has um I forgot what the disorder was called but he has a coordinate coordination issues so he had trouble with um, riding his bike at the beginning of the episode and and other things throughout the episode that happened as well but oh boy these guys um, these guys wow um, Yasmin's a police officer and Graham was um, who, uh, his partner was Grace and ah oh, oh my goodness oh my thoughts are everywhere I thought they were great characters to start off with. Um, I'm intrigued to see where the character development goes in terms of as individuals, as as well as with each other, as a team, as a family, a big um, unit. And let me just talk about Jodie Whittaker for a second. Oh wow, she is eccentric. <laughs> she is full of energy, and I'm just like, oh my goodness. And yes, we have gotten some fast talking doctors in the past, and. You know, but, oh my goodness, Jodie, wow, wow, Woo! it took me a while, it took me a while to catch up with what she's saying. Wow, she is full of life, and I like that. I think she's going to be a good doctor, to say the least. I'm very excited about what she does as a doctor, as well as, you know, her relationship with her companions, as a family and that lot, and oh boy. So yeah, there's a lot of things in this episode. We've got two um, entities, two aliens. Um, there was the electrical wires thing, which was actually... Um, it was a um, connection. It was it was like a sensory unit thing. Oh, gosh. I, I, know, I know the words, but they're not coming to me right now. But it was something to connect to the other alien, which was trying to kill random humans to become a leader of his species and it was all about power all about the power for him uh, so that's why but he cheated using that sensory thing um, yeah I mean he was fine as a villain but I'm just more focused on the companions and the doctor right now because you know maybe it'll get better with the villains and stuff going on with the season but yeah I mean we have seen the power ship before like the power the one who wants to get all the power of them before so I'm just like eh, what can you do um what else what else can I talk about um I feel like this series might be a bit more ah uh, let's say grounded I don't know I mean it was grounded for the first episode I know there's gonna be a lot more bigger galaxy plots coming because if you've seen the ending and this is spoilers they're in space now where are they? <laughs> they are in the middle of space now! <laughs> because what Jodie's doctor tried to do was trying to find her TARDIS, so she created this um, energy tracker to try and find the TARDIS. Um, but it ended up zapping them into space. So... <laughs> I found that, that very funny. I don't know why I shouldn't be laughing. But I was like, shouldn't they be dead? Because they're in space now. But I guess it's something to make them breathe, I don't know. They shouldn't be breathing. They're in space. They should have a space suit, but they're in space. Yeah, it's, it was a weird kind of whatever. Hopefully, the next episode will pick that right up. Uh, speaking about the future episodes, at the end of the credits, they showed every single person, like every single guest cameo coming up. And oh boy, I, I see some familiar faces. 
Um, Lee Mack is a familiar face because um, I watch a lot of programs with him, especially not going out. And I, I was just like, oh shit, he's in there. And then, oh, um, there's also another person that I recognise as well. I think he was in. He was in a couple of like comedy shows, like stand up things. I love his stand ups, and um, he's in a couple of TV shows as well. But oh boy, there's there's a lot of new faces coming to Doctor Who, and overall, I thought this episode was good. It's a good start. I'm not saying it's great because I still need to process my feelings. My opinions might change, I might think this episode's great later, but I have to watch all the seasons to find out if this episode was actually <laughs> great. Worthy of being great. Because it's, it's, I mean, it was a good start, in my opinion. It was a good start. Um, but yeah, talking about Grace. Oh boy. Oh, that death. Woo! Yeah. I don't know what to, I don't know, because she could have been a great asset to the team. But I should have known she was going to die since she wasn't in like future episodes promotional material. I mean, to be honest, she could have, I mean, she didn't die, she could have stayed at home and whatnot. But I thought she would have been a good asset to the team, but I guess um, her sacrifice leave a great impact on Ryan and Graham, so I guess it's doing its job. But yeah, Grace was good in this episode and she'd done, just, she done herself some justice. and. She sacrificed herself. She saved. She basically saved them because she, they could have got electrocuted by that big wire monster. So yeah, she done her job, and yeah, it inspired Ryan to get back on his bike and try again. And I'm just wow, it's really inspiring, especially with his disorder. But that's not going to stop him, is it? Like he's inspired more to to get out there because of his nan, and I like that, you know. Um, and Graham, even this going to hit him hard. Hopefully he gets more development with himself later on because he's a bit of a pestilence. Um Well, no, I mean, that's probably not the right word, but he was a bit of a doubter. But then again, I understand why. Um, but yeah, oh man. Whoa, this episode has a lot to unpack. And I'm just rambling because I just want to get my feelings out there. I know this probably won't make sense to any of you. <laughs> but I just... I liked it. It was it was a good start, and uh, hopefully it will get better. Hopefully it will get better. It's just wow, wow. Whew! It's a lot of lot of stuff coming this season that I haven't even seen because I haven't been catching up with the Doctor Who set reports, so I have no idea what happens. And also, I haven't been looking at spoilers or anything, so I don't know what happens. I don't want to know what happens yet, yet until future episodes come and that lot. So please. Don't give me any spoilers of what happens if anybody wants to, because don't do that. I mean, I know you... I don't know. Don't do that, please. Uh, don't spoil everyone who wants to know what happens, unless they actually want to be spoiled. Just, just don't do it. Anyway, um... Yeah, overall, as I said already, this episode was good. Jodie's Doctor gets a big thumbs up from me right now. I mean, it might all change, but... Right now, she's looking like a very interesting Doctor. She does remind me a little bit of the fast talking Doctors of the past, like Dave Tennant, Matt Smith a little bit, um, with her eccentricness. Um, and there was lots of references to Peter Capaldi, the Doctor before her, so... Yeah, oh, all's well is good right now. <laughs> but yeah, this season's gonna be very different, or at least somewhat different, I can tell. Because this season is a reboot, a refresh, but also it does reference the past a little bit, as I predicted. But this season's going to focus on them travelling, trying to get Ryan, Yasmin and Graham back home because they, they are in space now. So they're probably going to go to a lot of different worlds or galaxies or different places, different places, because they're travellers now. They're a travelling family cohort. And it's going to be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. So that was my first impressions review, sort of rambling thingy of Doctor Who Series 11, Episode 1. I just wanted to get my feelings out there. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do any more of these, but I could. Um, if anybody's gonna ask about the reaction videos, I probably won't be doing them anymore, um, if anybody even cares, because of things in the past, but 
don't know, maybe finale reaction, maybe? I don't know. I'll think about it. But yeah, that was, that's it. Uh, this episode, as I said already, it's good. It's good. Good start. Can't wait to see more. It's going to be a very interesting season for me to observe and watch. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Whew.